everybody welcome to my channel thank you again for joining me i hope you had a great thanksgiving last night i went out to the stores and of course the first place i went to was sephora and i picked up the new fenty buta buta beauty beauty and stena lip paint and it is the color uncensored and this is what it looks like it looks like a vintage nail polish bottle of course i was attracted to it because i love anything vintage and it's absolutely adorable now this thing right here is like magic lipstick or something because i wore this little baby today for eight hours not to mention that i forgot to brush my teeth after i put it on i brushed my teeth with it on and the thing did not budge and what i really like about it is that it doesn't fade in the middle and my lips are stained so if you're trying to take it off is another thing um your lips are going to be stained so they're going to look a little cherry which i don't mind at all and unless you have one of those lip removers or something because it does stain Neutrogena um, little wipes actually it takes it off and you could still see so you have to be careful because it will stain around your mouth I look like I was wearing candy last night when I was trying to take it off without my Neutrogena all right so anyway I love it I love it you know I normally complain about matte lipsticks I don't like the way they look and I don't like the way they feel but this one um i'm really in love with it the only thing that i that i notice about it is that when i was wearing it i could kind of feel it hugging my mouth and i don't want to think about like i was driving and i was thinking about it like being on my lips that which is the only complaint i really have about it the color is stunning and it will work with any kind of skin tone which is i think that's what she actually you know her, her main goal is that it's universal and that everybody could kind of wear it and it's true. And it's highly, highly pigmented. And there's not a lot of transfer. I mean, there is a little bit and I'll show you after I put it on. But you definitely have to be careful when you put it on because if you don't, you're going to look like a hot mess. This is what the applicator looks like. It's super, super cute. And as you could see, all that pigment in there. And it actually... A little bit collects around the edges right there so just make sure you wipe it off before you put that back on there in case it tends to like spill out a little bit not spill out but you know it oozes between the cap and the bottle you know that happens to me all right so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it so you can see what it looks like and a little bit goes a long way like when you're applying it you don't actually have to go back in and grab more because th look there's a big old goop right there on my lips mm. I'm applying this without my glasses so who knows what my lips are gonna look like when I'm done you have to make sure you apply this like nice and even because they're not ugh. That one little spot's gonna be stained. Ah, that's what it looks like. Look how pretty. I know it's kind of probably a mess. So, the other thing I was gonna say about it is that if you have smaller lips, try not to press them because it is gonna leave a mark around you know, your outside of your natural lip line. So just keep that in mind. Another thing for you artists that if you want to apply this during a shoot and then take it off and add a different color because I know when I'm working, I have to change colors all the time. This is definitely not one that I would apply first because the lips will be stained. And if you don't have something to take it off, you're definitely going to have a hot mess on your, on your hands. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It doesn't make my lips look pruny at all. Sometimes different matte lipstick, they tend to make the lines of your lips come out more but this doesn't happen and it does have a little bit of a sheen to it which i really like this is what it looks like when you kind of well ah see not a lot comes out so it kind of dries nicely i mean i i know there's some masks that you will not get any transfer at all but that's considering how much pigment comes out of this little bottle onto your lips it's pretty good so it does stay on all day like i said um I'm gonna try it out to see how long it stays, but eight hours is a pretty long time considering I was eating and drinking. Well, 
I was, I don't drink, but you know, Diet Coke. I was eating and drinking, brushing my teeth and doing all kinds of crazy stuff with this stuff on and I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, the price is around $24. It is available now and I hope you run out and get it. And this video is not sponsored. I just love to say that when I get a good product. Anyway, that is my review for this lovely little gem right here. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. See my thumbs are all stained and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.